continuing our ultimate VIP health and wellness special, we take a look at our skin. In recent years, we've been hearing about the importance of keeping our skin hydrated, which is one of the keys to maintaining its health. And joining us now as part of our ultimate VIP health and wellness special is Dr. Cindy Yog Howard, a dermatologist, and she's here to discuss skin health and what we can do to maintain it. Good morning. Good morning, Beth. How are you? I am great, and I love talking about skin. Skin care is one of those things that can be incredibly intimidating for women, I think, especially. But first of all, how do we know if we have healthy skin? How do we know if we're doing the right thing? Well, essentially, your skin is like your body's protective armor. It's a selective barrier that can allow nutrients and medications through into your body, mm -hmm. uh, while at the same time protecting your body from things like bacteria and fungus that like to make their way into the dry cracks of damaged skin. So you really need to maintain a well hydrated barrier. Your skin needs to be well hydrated in order to protect yourself from harsh environmental factors. What are some of the factors, what are some of the harsh environments that do cause a lot of damage to our skin? Obviously we know we need to avoid a lot of sun, but there Absolutely. are other things that can really damage us, right? Right. Well, ultraviolet radiation is certainly one of those harsh environmental factors that not only causes skin cancer, but damages right. the cells and damages the skin. can make you look a lot older than you really are. Right. And it damages the skin's natural barrier. But one thing that you might not think of is soap. Soap is what? very damaging. Some soaps are very damaging to the skin. So it's really important to avoid those kinds of uh, things that can really be harmful. Um, another thing is a low humidity environment, mm. like we all experienced over the cold winter months this right. past winter. So what do we do to restore our skin's um, moisture levels? I'm, I'm assuming moisturizers are, are key to that. Absolutely. Good moisturizers contain two main components. Okay. One would be a humectant, which actually pulls water into the skin. Okay. And another would be an emollient. And the emollients actually act like a, a, a protective barrier so the water can't leave the skin. So it's really interesting. The skin is actually structured much like bricks and mortar. Mm -hmm. The bricks would be dead skin cells that actually have a natural moisturizing factor. Wait, dead skin cells do? Dead skin cells. No one has ever told me that. I thought the dead skin cells were the things we were supposed to not just have any of those, but it's actually nope. helpful. It's actually helpful. Really? Uh, because they actually soak up water. So that's the brick part of the brick and mortar structure mm -hmm. of the skin. The mortar part is a lipid layer that keeps that water in the skin, preventing it from evaporating. So if we are, you know, as again, I, I'm speaking from a woman's point of view, you go into the store, there are so many options when it comes to moisturizers, when it comes to skin care, it can get insanely overwhelming and really, really confusing. So as a dermatologist, what do you recommend as a solution to maintaining a healthy skin? Well, I brought along the CeraVe skincare line because I really like the line. Okay. It, it suits the, the needs of most people. The line contains um, a humectant mm -hmm. called hyaluronic acid. Gets the moisture in. Soaks it in. And it also contains in the lipid uh, category, it contains cholesterol, ceramides, and fatty acids. So it keeps the moisture it in. It keeps that moisture in. And this line in particular has a special unique ceramide formulation mm -hmm. that keeps that skin that skin well hydrated for up to 24 hours now I know that we have some of the the lotion here do you mind if I try it oh absolutely Please I love do. to feel what anything feels like on my skin oh and that's really nice it's great it's not sticky like some moisturizers no. can be so what about I have incredibly sensitive skin I've talked to folks about it at home quite a bit on this mm -hmm. show this line is non-comedogenic as well, right? Which means it's not going to clog my pores and cause all that congestion that can cause breakouts, right? Exactly. And the lotion, there's a non-comedogenic lo lotion that's particularly great for the face. Oh, wow. And they have an AM formulation and a PM formulation. Which PM is so hard to find for people who have sensitive skin because usually the, the PM lotions are too pore clogging. And very heavy, heavy. And, and, and can cause acne. Yeah. Um, the day cream is similar to the night cream, 
in that it's non-comedogenic, but it also contains a non-irritating sunscreen. Oh, which is also a difficult thing right. to find. So you could even maybe use that on kids if you're sending your kids out with you know, some protection on their face as well. Absolutely. Because it doesn't irritate. These have been some great tips. And again, my hands feel feel really, really nice. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're it's welcome. been a pleasure Thank chatting you with you. I'll, I'll shake your hand with my newly softened hands. Thank you, Beth. We appreciate you being here so much. Now, for more information on your skin, you can go to saravie.com and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter.